we spoke and we discussed a lot of issues regarding how we can support Afghanistan's higher education, particularly those students and scholars remaining inside Afghanistan after the collapse of Republic in 15 August 2021. One of the solutions was providing of some sort of online education trainings and uh, classes for those students they are still studying inside Afghanistan. And there was also another option about possibility of looking for some uh, other sort of supports like financial support, also uh, uh, providing some sort of facilities or technical support. After the collapse of Taliban, uh, when we observed a kind of lack of motivation uh, with the students and scholars, we tried to motivate them. What we did, it was a series of um, events and gatherings of students uh, in discussions just to give them a kind of hope for their future. Uh, at the same time, we tried to uh, somehow uh, present or deliver our services through the NGO to students in academies, particularly our academic activities, uh, which is a kind of uh, library, digitalized library, which is a series of books, translated books, newly translated books in Dari in Pashto uh, are available there. And uh, we opened the gate of that library for those students and lecturers. Uh, they have interest to enhance their capacity on market economy, free society values, history, literature, and things like that. At the same time, we organized a few events in some regional provinces like uh, Western province, Herat, and Eastern region, Jalalabad, and also in capital, Kabul. We brought the a number of students, male and female, from other provinces to Kabul. We had one day uh, discussions, working group sessions, and uh, it was a kind of motivation for the students, and it created a lot of hope for them because it was the only events they could see after the collapse of the Republic uh, with close engagement with different male and female students from different parts of the country. Indeed, due to the restricted rules of Taliban, we separated male and female students during the discussions, but at least female students attended the event with one person, male person of their families as their mahram because it was the rule. Uh, at the same time, uh, the INJU has an online radio station and we, we are using this radio station for uh, um, unity of Afghan people and for some sort of capacity building uh, programs uh, on the field of economic, human rights, legal issues and some other uh, relevant issues to the current uh, uh, economic situation of Afghanistan. We are producing some uh, data through the monthly magazine, which is uh, like an update report on those economic activities carrying out during each month in Afghanistan. These kind of activities uh, somehow giving a kind of hope and motivation to students in academics when they see still there are some injuries involved on promotion of values, on promotion of uh, uh, academic issues, on promotion of human rights, on promotion of unity of Afghan communities, it creates hope for them and it uh, uh, somehow encourages them to, to uh, uh, somehow being more active in their studying process. Mm -hmm.